him, but the two-place kickers failed to come through. We'll be right back for the second half after these messages from your local station. The wind is swirling so much now at Veterans Stadium as Luis Endejas gets ready to kick it off for the Philadelphia Eagles, but he needs help. He needs a holder in the kickoff, and that's William Frizzell. It's squibbed, flags down on the play. The Raiders making the recovery outside of their own 35-yard line. What a way to start the second half. Philadelphia was offside, but I think the Raiders will refuse it because they're going to have the ball about the 36 or 37-yard line. Numbers in the first 30 minutes of play. Not much offense for either side. Rushing yardage, most of that going to Randall Cunningham for the Philadelphia Eagles. And the reason the game is so close, take a look. Your first downs are the same, okay? But the turnover situation, Joel, no turnovers in this game. That's a credit to both offenses and the defense, especially when you're playing against the Philadelphia Eagles, who have gotten the ball, taken it away 24 times going into this game. The Eagles had six turnovers they picked up from the Phoenix Cardinals last week. And one of the most surprising aspects of the first half, Paul, no sacks in the first half of the Eagles. They came up with 26, the second highest total in the NFL. And you give credit to the offensive line of the Raiders. They are doing a tremendous job. A little bit of holding. Jackson in the backfield, <laughs> just a little. Steve Smith joining Bo back there. First and 10 at the 37 of Los Angeles. Short drop for Schrader, quick out, overthrows Fernandez. So the first half for Schrader, or rather the second half, starts out the same way the second half ended. Well, right off the bat, they're going to start. There's Wilkerson, number 68. They're going to double-team Reggie White. Take a look at it. And when you talk about double-teaming, you're not double-teaming with a back in a, in a lineman. You're double-teaming with two linemen. Wisniewski, number 76, and Bruce Wilkerson, number 68. Two linemen blocking one defensive lineman. Somebody's got to be free if they start blitzing. Eagles on the second and ten situation, putting more men up on the defensive line of scrimmage. Ball of the 37. Bo Jackson trying the right side. Tripped up across the 40. Going down near the 42-yard line for a gain of close to five. And it is, it's not surprising because Reggie is such a strong pass rusher. Reggie White is what I'm talking about. They're going to try to run right at him. Just take a look at the double team. Wilkerson and Dial are both there blocking. But Reggie just strings it out and waits for his friends to come in and make the play. And Reggie helps out. Double team still makes the play. Is he good or what? He is the very best. He's led the NFL in sacks in each of the last two seasons. He had 18 last oh. year. Movement by Jerome Brown gets back in time. Raiders, three of eight and third down conversion. This is a third and five of the 42. Raider, wide open, Mueller over the middle for a first down at the Eagles' 44-yard line. Joyner and Evans, the two linebackers combining on the hit. This is what's surprising about Schrader's numbers and the fact that he has enough time to throw the football. That time he waited until Mueller, the back gets out of the backfield. And just take a look at what the offensive line does. Pitts is being blocked by most bar the center, number 72. And that opens it up. The linebackers, that's Evans and Joyner covering Mueller. But Schrader had all the time he wanted to throw the football. Only 56 yards passing to Jay Schrader. And the Raiders, they only had 89 yards passing for both Burlein and Schrader last Sunday. Bo Jackson with a carry. Nifty move inside the 40. Near a first down. He's short of the first down marker by a couple at the 37 after a gain of eight. Hopkins holding on along with Seth Joyner. Now we'll see Bo Jackson. He's coming at you here, but watch the move that he makes to get back to the inside. There's nothing outside. He can't make that move outside because Simmons is there. He just cuts it back to the inside and picks up eight yards on the play. He had 85 yards on 11 carries last week against the Chiefs. 37 so far this afternoon. Second and a couple. But most of it was in the second half. Steve Smith tries for the first down, and he's got it. Inside the 35. They push him down near the 34-yard line. Indianapolis finally gets on the board in the second half, trailing by six. Buffalo by 13 at home. After that very emotional Monday night victory over the Los Angeles Rams. Houston, another touchdown pass from Warren Moon to Alonzo Highsmith. They lead by 24. Kansas City up by 10 now. For the winless Dallas Cowboys. Tampa Bay hanging tough. What an improved team. The Buccaneers. 
Well, they spotted the ball near the 35. I thought he would be close to the 34. They're going to be short of the first down by about six inches. Don't forget on many of these NBC stations, second half of our NFL doubleheader, you'll either see the Patriots at Stanford Stadium taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Denver matching up at the Kingdom with the Seahawks. So this is a short yardage play here, Joel, but, you know, as, as big as that offensive line is for the, for the Raiders and in this driver, I know you don't want to waste it, but, but this would be a great play action down. Third inches. Double tight end set. They've got three tight ends in there now. Jackson in the backfield. Along with Steve Smith, who gets it. And he's got the first down to the 34-yard line. A Raiders first down. It was 50 years ago today, the first televised pro football game from Ebbets Field in Brooklyn. It was the Brooklyn Dodgers taking on the Philadelphia Eagles, and the Dodgers won it by the score of 23-14. to Ebbets Field. He's got my old helmet on. None. Doesn't look exactly like Ebbets. <laughs> Veteran Stadium in Philadelphia. <laughs> There's been some guys that I know that play without helmets. First and ten for the Raiders. The 34-yard line of the Eagles. This drive started back for the Raiders, 37. Trader with plenty of time again to a wide open Mervin Fernandez. He's got a first down and then some inside the 20, down to the 15-yard line. Blown assignment in the secondary. Well, uh, the question is who blew the assignment? Was it Allen or was it Hopkins? Because I know that a linebacker is not supposed to cover a wide receiver especially Fernandez but they are talking to Al Harris number 95 when you look out here to the right of your screen you're gonna see all alone is Fernandez nobody's on him the closest man to him is number 21 Eric Allen outstanding start to the second half of the Raiders offense it's scoreless at Veterans Stadium with 11 minutes and 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Jackson and Smith shifting into the eye. Bo gets it, and Bo goes nowhere. Flags down to the play. That got to be holding. It almost looked like Schrader wanted to pitch the ball when he started to hand the ball off to Jackson. Well, he turned around before the play started and had to move Bo back into the eye formation because Bo was lined Over. up wrong. Offense, number 68, 10-yard penalty. Repeat the down, first down. Was he holding Reggie? Bruce Wilkerson, the right tackle in his third year from Tennessee. He's the one called for the hole to mark up 10 yards back to the 25-yard line. Brings up first and 20. Jackson's out. Vance Mueller comes in. Yoder out in the flat, it's overthrown. Well, there was heat on Schrader, but that time he just threw the ball away because Vince Bueller was open, swinging down the sideline, but the ball looked like it just took off on him when he threw the ball. Only 73 yards so far, and Reggie White double-teamed again. All right, this time it was over Moe's bar, but he gets by him, and Gisek, number 63, is held, holding on to him again, and Reggie's just looking for some somebody. <laughs> I mean, they don't have to talk to the official because they're not listening, so now he's just talking to the field. Maybe we get some answer from the stripes. Second and 20. They double up Galt and Fernandez to the same side. Schrader again with ample time. Now the pocket collapses, and the Eagles get their first sack of the day. It goes to Mike Pitts. Reggie White also in there. I'm going to tell you what, Reggie White, I'm sorry, folks, we got to keep showing this thing, but eventually they're going to call it because Reggie White is held. There's no question about it. By the time he got rid of everybody that was holding him, he had to fight those guys off. Then he gets in there with Pitts and makes the play. Reggie White, number 92, watch this. Now tell me he's not being held here. Look at this, he's turned completely around, finally gets away, and then Pitts and White make the tackle. He was working up against the rookie right guard, Steve Wisniewski, out of Penn State. Now you know what he was talking about yesterday. That they're holding him on every play, and they really are. Loss of seven on the sack. Brings up a third and 27, moving on the left side of the line. 
Another penalty to the Raiders. Rory Graves, John Giesick, both lifting up. 